So let's take a look at the installer options. So I've got um, my app profile here um, and I'm going to make a note of the policy token because I'm going to use this for my strict enforcement enrollment that says that this is the profile I want this user or this device to enroll with and by installing with this I don't want the user to be able to access the internet until they've actually enrolled um, into Zscaler Client Connector. So I come across to administration, you can see the personal computers, I've got my Windows version, this is the latest version, and I've got Mac OS version, so I go ahead and download these to the workstations. Um, but of course I'll download as MSIs if I want, I can use the MST to make a transformation um, to, to create these installer options, package it up and distribute these installations um, through SCCM, Intune, AirWatch, whatever your MDM is, Jamf for, for Mac OS. Um, but this demonstration is going to go through those installer options and show you how they work on the endpoint. Let's go to the remote desktop. Um, I can see into my downloads, fol um, downloads folder and I can see the installer there. So I can run the installer. I've got my options in my clipboard and I'm saying uh, user domain. This is my welshgeek.net domain. Um, cloud name is Zscaler2. That's the Zscaler Internet Access Cloud that I'm on. I'm going to say hide all of the um, uh, admin interface during the installation. And I say strict enforcement is one. So I want to enforce strict enforcement and I paste in that policy token. So it'll go ahead, um, install Zscaler Client Connector on the machine. And if we look in the system tray, we should see it pop up. Okay, we see it pop up there. I should get notifications on my device for multi-factor authentication. Let's go ahead and open this up. Um, and you can see it's uh, blocking internet access at this point. So if I open up my browser and I go to 888.com, you'll see that it's blocked. Um, if we come back to the client, it started that enrollment process. It's asked me to approve on my mobile device for my multi-factor authentication. But from a user experience perspective, I haven't had to enter my username or the cloud name into the client connector. It's automatically deployed. And if I didn't have multi-factor enabled, that would have deployed without the user interaction at all. So now the tunnels are up. We're authenticated. Um, internet access is up. I can now refresh the page for 888.com. And now my policy is blocking it because it's a gambling website. Um, so let's um, let's consider the same on Mac OS. Say app profiles, Mac OS is my Welsh geek uh, for Mac. So I copy that policy token to the clipboard. I open up an iTerminal window. I can CD to the downloads folder, um, and I can see that installer app. So what I want to do is I want to open Zscaler installer app and I want to pass it some arguments which are the user domain, the cloud name, the unintended mode installation, that strict enforcement mode, and that policy token that I copied across. I press open um, and it's going to prompt me because it needs to be an administrator to um, create those routes and everything and install that agent. And it goes ahead and installs. Um, and what we'll see is the the same configuration that we saw with uh, Windows. We'll open it up there. It's blocking. It's now trying to uh, open Zscaler Client Connector. It's redirected to the IDP, which is going to prompt me to authenticate on my multi-factor. Um, that signs in. I'm going to get prompted again for Zscaler Private Access, but the cookie was already present, and so now we can see that we're enrolled for our ZIA, ZPA, and digital experience. And so I could access that um, dc3welshgeek.net website minus V, and we'll see that it uh, passes through Zscaler private access.